In May 2021, I made a video about Megapixels 1.0.1, the PinePhone camera application. At the end of 2021, version 1.4.2 of Megapixels was released, and you'll see that the PinePhone camera has evolved a lot. The first big change concerns the processing time after taking a photo, which has gone from 35 seconds previously to 25 seconds now. Even if the change is significant, the loading time remains very long, and will undoubtedly be shortened with future updates. One of the other big changes is the way images are processed. As you can see, the photos now have beautiful colors more faithful to reality, which was not the case in the past. Another novelty, the photos are now much more detailed than before. It's now possible to distinguish clouds, even if the sky isn't very blue. The number of frames per second has been increased, and there is almost no difference between what you see in the app, and the truth. The autofocus has also been greatly improved, it's now faster, and there are hardly any errors. Moreover, Megapixels now lets you take photos much closer to your subject than in the past. If desired, the selfie camera now has an option to provide additional illumination in low light, using the screen. And the photo processing time has been reduced to 7 seconds. Here is a photo taken with the main camera, and a photo taken with the selfie camera. Another notable point is the appearance of the flash option, which will allow you to take better photos in low light, provided that your subject, is neither too far nor too close. Note that photos taken with the flash tend to look green, but this is relatively normal given that this is a recently added option on megapixels. Backlight photos are generally unsuccessful, but there can always be surprises. The night photos are pretty good considering the quality of the sensor, and if we compare them to the photos, that could be taken a few years ago with Android smartphones of a similar price. However, it's important to note that it's common to have flare in night photos. Also new, you can now manually adjust the ISO, which can be useful when the automatic mode is wrong. You can also adjust the shutter speed. Here is a photo taken with an ISO adjusted manually. You can also scan QR codes very easily, megapixels automatically detecting them, provided you are connected to internet. As you can see, the Megapixels application has really evolved a lot in the last few months. While not bug-free, great improvements have been made in image processing, with better colors, sharper images, and new options, like the flash or the manual ISO control. The major problem with this application remains the processing time of the photos which, although noticeably shortened, is still too long for an optimal use. 